Hello everyone. Now we will start with a new topic and our new topic is concept of number range in SAP. What is the significance of number range? What is the need of number range? So we will go for understanding of this topic. What is number range? To understand the number range, what I will do? Firstly, I will go for the system. Suppose I will go to MM01 transaction code. You all know with the help of MM01, we are creating the material. Suppose I'm passing some industry sector, I'm passing some material type. Suppose raw material. I'm not giving the material number. SAP will generate the material number automatically. Suppose I will go for enter. I will choose basic data one. Now, have you seen SAP generated this material number? Now, it is not a game or magic that SAP understand that it has to generate this material number. Next time, it has to generate 34. Next time, it has to generate 35. There is a number range defined in the system. And based upon that number range only, the next available number is generating. So this is the concept of number range. This is the significance of the number range. Suppose I'm passing some description. Suppose I'm going for some unit of measurement. I will go for same. Suppose this material number generated 201033. Next time, whenever I will create the material, this number will not generate because it is already generated. SAP will generate the next available number. And why, why it is generating and how it is generating because of number range only. There is a number range defined in the system and based upon that only the next available number is generating. Suppose for the better understanding, suppose I will go for VA01 transaction code. You all know you can create a sales order through VA01 transaction code. Suppose I am going for some order type. I am going for some sold to party. Suppose I am going for some ship to party. Suppose I am passing some payment terms. And I am going for some material. I am putting some order quantity. And I am going for sale. Whenever I will save the sales order, SAP will generate a number. Suppose I am going for sale. I will go for sale. Now you can see SAP generated 1157. Now it's not with the help of magic or something. There is a number range defined in the system. Based upon that only SAP is generating the material number or sales order number. There is a number range defined for the materials. There is a number range defined for the sales order. And based upon that only the next available number is generating. Now, if I will go for the notepad, now we have a dedicated transaction code in SAP. What is the transaction code? SNRO. You can easily, easily remember standard number range object or SAP number range object. With the help of this transaction code, we create the number range object. Suppose I will go for simple, simple understanding. Just now I showed you the materials. Suppose for the materials, suppose number range object is mat. And what is the number range? Suppose system will generate the material number between 1 to suppose 10,000. So whenever we will generate the material number, whenever system will generate the material number, it will generate between 1 to 10,000. It will go for 1, 2, 3, 4 and it will go till 10,000. Yes, next time we'll, we can increase the number range. That's a different thing. So with the help of SNRO transaction code, we will create a number range object 
and we will define the number range to that number range object. This is the number range object for the materials and this is the number range. Suppose if we just now I showed you the sales order. Suppose for the sales order, the number range object is sales and we are saying that system will generate the sales order number between 10 to 10, between 100 to 10,000. Then in that case, whenever I will create the sales order, system will start the sales order number from 100. It will go for 101, 102, 103, and it will go till 10,000. So this is the number range object for the sales order. And this is the number range. Anyways, whenever we will go for the practical part, we will create a number range object also. We will assign the number range also. And then we will do the practical part also. As of now, if I will show you what is the number range object for the material or what is the number range object for the sales order. Suppose simple understanding. Someone comes to you and say, okay, tell me what is the number range object for the material. What is the number range object for the sales order? It is very, very easy for a technical person that with the help of debugging, you can tell someone that this is the number range object used for material. This is the number range object used for the sales order. Very, very easy. Suppose one option. You can go for SNRO transaction board. And you can simply, simply search through F4 help. Suppose I will go for F4 help. Suppose you want to check what is the number range object for the materials. Then what you will do, you will simply, simply put material. I will go for enter. You will be able to see so many objects. You will be able to see so many objects. So with the help of SNRO, sometimes it's very difficult to find out. Then in that case, because you are a technical person, you are a ABAP consultant, you know debugging. With the help of debugging, you can tell someone very, very easily that this is the number range object for the material. This is the number range object for the sales order. Suppose if someone asks you, okay, tell me what is the number range object? Just do one thing. There is a dedicated function module of SAP, number get next. Just put a breakpoint onto this function module. System will show you what is the number range object for that particular transaction code, what the number range object we are using. Suppose I will go for simply, simply suppose MM01 transaction. And many times, sometimes functional comes to you and say, okay, tell me what is the number range object for the material? What is the number range object for the sales order? So technical person can do everything with the help of debugging. You can simply, simply go for industry sector material type, put slash H. You all know with the help of slash H, we can own that debugging. It is a transaction code for that debugging. System will enter into the debugging mode. Go for breakpoints. Breakpoint at statement. Just go for function module or you can directly go for function module also. Breakpoint, breakpoint at function module. It is very easy to remember the function module. Number get next. I will go for enter. Now I will simply do F8. Now you can see I'm inside this function module number get next. Just see this function module. If I will double click here, what is the number range? This is number range serial number 10. If I will double click here, what is the object material NR? So it is very, very easy for you to tell someone that this is the number range object. Suppose now you can go to SNRO. Suppose now if I will show you through SNRO. 
This is the number range object. This is the number range object. If I will display, now you will understand. Anyways, whenever practical will start, you will understand more. This is the number range object. This is the number range object. Now for this number range object, we define the range. If I will click here, there is a button here, intervals. Display the interval. You can see we have so many serial number, but the serial number is 10. 10. This is the 10 serial number. This is the 10 serial number. And have you seen this is the from value and this is the to value. Just remember, just few minutes back when I created the material number, material number generated between 2010 zero, zero something. Because this is the from value and this is the to value. It means material number will generate between this and this. And this is the serial number. So you can easily, easily tell someone that this is the number range object used for this particular transaction code. Because sometimes with the help of SNRO, we will be very difficult to predict because with the help of description, we will be able to see so many number range object. Suppose I will go for simple. I'm doing F7. It means control will come out from this function module. And you can see when control come out from the function module, this is the material number generated 201034. 201034, is it between this and this? If I will go for this, it is between this and this 201034. Now, if I will do F8, you can simply, simply see the next material number will be 201034 only. So this function module anyways will start with the practical part. I will show you after defining the number range object or after creating the number range object, this function module helps you to get the next available number. Suppose I will show you VA01. As, as of now, I'm just giving you all overview. If someone comes to you and say, okay, tell me what is the number range object of this particular transaction code. Suppose I will go to VA01. Okay, this is VA01. Now, simple put the order type. I will go for sold to party, ship to party. I will put some customer reference because these are standard transaction code. It means number range object SAP already created. The number ranges are defined only. Now I will go for save. Before we go for save, I will put slash H. We'll go for save. We'll simply put the breakpoint on the function module number get next. Function model is very itself descriptive. You are getting the next available number. I will go for breakpoints. Breakpoint at function module. Number get next. Now I will do F8. Okay, I need to put terms of payment. Sorry, I forgot to put save. Now you can see I am into this function module. Now you can see what is the object. This is the object for the sales order. Number range object. 01, this is the number range object. Just go to SNRO. Slash N SNRO. Now I will put this object. Display this object. If I will go for the intervals. Intervals. You can see 01. And what is the value between one to something, something, something. Now you can see the, the number which is generating the sales order number, which is generating. If I will do F7, you can see the number is generating 1158. Is it lie between this to this value? Yes, it lies between this to this value. Suppose if I will do F8. If I will do F8. Okay. Anyways, I'll just because... We have other number ranges objects also. Now you can see 1158, 1158. Have we got 1158? Yes. 
So this is the way how how the number range object is for the sales order and materials. Yes, these are standard transaction code. So SAP provided or SAP created the number range object. We only only need to give the number ranges. Anyways, whenever we will go for practical part, we'll create our number range object. We'll give the number range. So what is the summary of this particular video? Important topic, extremely important from the project perspective. Yes, because in the project, yes, number range plays a vital role. Suppose now what is number range? Firstly, I showed you, suppose we are creating a material. I'm not giving the material number. I'm saying system to generate the material number. System generated the material number. Now it's not a game or magic that material number automatically 200 game, automatically 300 game. No, there is a number range defined in the system for that particular number range object. Object, just understand object. Why we are going for object? Because we have so many things in the SAP. Sales order, we require a specific number range object. Material, we want a specific number range object. And we can go for number ranges for that particular object. Then after that, I show you sales order also. Now, with the help of SNRO transaction code, we are creating the number range object. And we define the number range for that particular object. Now, after that, I showed you that if someone comes to you and say, okay, tell me for this particular transaction code, which particular number range object is there. Then in that case, what you can do? Simply, simply put the breakpoint on number get next function module you will be able to see the number range object and you can tell someone or you can go to SNRO transaction code and check with the help of that. And I showed you that how you can check the number range object. What is the number range object for material? What is the number range object for the sales order? Now in the next video, what we will do? We'll take a requirement. We will create the number range object we will assign the number range to that number range object and we will use in the program. We will take a requirement and we will do the full practical part. In this video, we took the standard example. So, step, so for the standard things, SAP has already provided the number range object. We only, only have to define the number ranges because many times people ask, is this the number ranges provided by SAP itself? No, SAP has only provided the number range object, object. Number range, we are defining based upon the requirement. So these all number ranges we define or functional person defined in the system. So in the next video, we'll start with the practical part for the same. So that's it in this video. Thank you.